Hey you guys, it's Mike's Art Fan 234 here, and I finally got my package from China from Shen Yao Ming Zangapu, whatever it is. Um, came by air mail, <laughs> and I'm reviewing the packing for some reason. Um, as you can definitely see, it is from China. Anyway, we're gonna open this up because I'm gonna, I should probably tell you what it is, but you're gonna see it in the title anyway, so what's the point? And let me set the camera down while I try to. While I try to, you know, open it, I thought I'd stop recording for a sec because I accidentally pushed a menu button. But it didn't. Alright, let's get this baby open. Here they are. Two Nintendo GameCube containers. This button back. Um, these are the real deal. And let's see. Um, I did have a test. Like I had that test for the game, uh, cube, the Game Boy Link cable. For the Link cable, I had a random Pokemon trade. But um, anyway. It was a random Pokemon tree, and I didn't talk during it, but this one will definitely be meant, will be meant for you guys. The other one was just meant for a test, and I was just happened to be recording, so I decided to put it on YouTube. But anyway, here are my controllers. Came straight from China. Um, they are the real deal, and I haven't held one of these in forever. And but I do not have a GameCube. Um, I decided against it, um, getting one off of eBay. There is a girl who I'm trying to get feedback from. She will not answer me about it, but she is supposed to be, um, getting back to me about whether or not she's going to sell me hers. But until then, the only thing I have to use these on is my Wii. As you can see, Battle Revolution is right next to it. Then I have my Xbox, many games, controller, and my regular Xbox One. And that big freaking tank of a magna bo magna box TV, and that holds all my games. And there's my rock band. And you didn't have to see what's on the floor over there, but anyway, it wasn't what we planned to show. But anyway, well, these are the controllers. I will be showing you guys a test on them, and we're about to get it out. Let me get it out now. Until then. So I get it out in like three seconds, stare at these miraculous controllers as they lay on my table. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I am going to be... Shit, where is it? There it is. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I am going to be testing out this... Um, GameCube cable that I got. I opened it. I just put it on, on. I put it on YouTube. Opening it. I just slid it back in here until these controllers arrived. You can see I keep all the packaging for some reason, but except for with the get um, link cable because that just came in an envelope. So I just gave that away. And I will be testing it out with my game. I have not played this game since I first got my Wii because I got my Wii and my friend let me borrow her controller. And then, um, and she gave me a, um, memory card to use with it. And then, so, I played this up until I caught Shadow Lugia, and then we moved right after I caught Shadow Lugia. So, I'm going to purify it, and with that cable, I'm hopefully going to be doing these trades and stuff. But, yeah, another thing that I want to know from you guys, because I always have a question with my, with my vids... Um, do you guys know where I can get a Pokemon Coliseum disc, um, cheap, like a case or something that I could, I could trade you guys something, if you want, I can trade you a, I could buy it from you, I could trade you a game for it, I only have two GameCube games, but I do have Xbox games, I have DS games, a lot of them, um, I have diamond, I have heart gold, black I am keeping, but my, uh, 
I want to show you guys something real quick before I end this video. But I could trade you any game, pretty much any game. And what I wanted to show you was, I think this is the third DS Lite I have had. This is my third one. And all of them have done the same thing. I don't know if it's because I have fat fingers or something and a heavy button press. But, but it's happened to some of my friends too. Do you see this lid is not staying up? Like at all when it's supposed to. It's all flimsy. Um, what happened was I was playing, like, I set the alarm one day, and as, um, and I was just playing it the night before, and it started to crack a little bit, and then a harmonica fell from the top bunk, and hit the DS when it was sitting on the shelf, because you can see my shelf over there, with my Game Boy sitting on it, it would be, um, from the top bunk down, it hit that, the DS thing on the end of the shelf, and it didn't really affect it too much. I mean, that's how the this the hinge got flimsy. But as I kept playing it, eventually this chunk right here just fell off. So I and this happened with the D, with the DS Lite I had before. It was the Pokemon themed one. And as I kept playing it, eventually it, the cracks spread the whole way across, and the hinge the top the top screen completely came apart from the bottom screen. I don't know if this happens. This is the third DS Lite in a row that this has happened to. Actually, no, it's the third DS. I had the first one was the original DS, then I had a DS Lite, now I have another DS Lite. And this is always happening to it. Um, the first ones, I personally think, were the best. The first one, how mine broke, was because I left it out, I didn't take care of it, and, eventually, and my brother, when he was a lot younger, we were a lot younger when, I, when those things came out, and I got it right after it came out. He was a lot younger, he didn't really know any better, so he kept taking it without asking and playing it and playing it. And my little sister, right after she was born, she'd pound on the, she somehow would dig it out and she would pound on the screen and stuff. And she eventually took the thing and right in half, ripped it in half. I don't know how a two-year-old could get that strength, but she did somehow. And I watched it before my very eyes. I was furious, but it was blue. And then I had the Pokemon theme going, and now I have this one, which is breaking, which is making me very angry. And yeah, I still haven't done the Poke Gem thing for you guys, which I think I will do sometime in the next couple days. But until then, I just have this to show you these GameCube controllers. So yeah, anyway, back to the Coliseum thing. Before, if you guys could tell me or trade me for Coliseum or where I can get a good Coliseum offer. I see that they are like outrageous on eBay. I've seen them for sixty dollars. I've seen them for forty, thirty-five. The lowest I've seen it for was twenty, which I was gonna spend twenty on a GameCube, which is what I'm using. But all I have is twenty dollars. So, which if that girl never gets back to me with that GameCube, I will call it quits on that deal, and I can offer you guys twenty dollars for the disc in the case. I do not know if I. Th I don't think I need the manual. I might. Because this one has helped me out a lot, this manual. But other, but this is really the only game in the manual I have read. So, if you guys can give, if, I mean, as long as it works, I'm fine. I mean, and stuff like this little thing here on the case with the plastic and the little nicks on the case don't bother me. As long as the manual's readable, I mean, I don't care if there's a f corner folded down or anything. The disc. As long as it's readable, it doesn't have to be in perfect condition. I mean, mine has a couple scratch. Um, it, I've only played it like two, two, three times, and it already has scratches on it from the Wii. So as long as it's readable and playable, I'm fine with it. Okay. But yeah, so you guys just let me know. I know right now, since I'm still, I consider my, I've been around for about a, two years now. I've had a YouTube account three years. I've had a YouTube account, but I've only been uploading for about a year. Before that, I didn't have anything to record and upload with, or anything to really upload with at all. And then, about last Christmas, I got a webcam and my own laptop. So that's when I started uploading. And then, so I've only really been uploading for about a year now. My, I only have like 23 videos. This might be 24, somewhere in the 20s. So, I'm not all that famous. I mean, I'm not a, I mean, you know, you guys can see, like, Pokey Collection, Munching Arns, IGCG, 
M and that kind of stuff. And those people, they are really famous. You almost always see their videos. Tyranitar Tube is famous for their uh, for the fake events, that kind of stuff. So I watch all their videos. I was watching one video, um, Shofu. I was watching his videos, which I think he's hilarious when he battles, especially when he battled that hacker. But, um, anyway, yeah, you should check out their channels, and, um, definitely, um, recommend me. If you guys are uploaders, definitely, please recommend me. I will recommend you, too, in my videos. So, help me out with some vid for, for, with some views here. Any ideas for vids, you just let me know. See, like I said, this is the kind of stuff I've, I've wanted to open, this stuff, and Pokemon cards cards are really starting to not be on my list but um yeah well that's it um later guys like comment subscribe bye